Hey everyone, it's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft and I've got another process video for you that takes you through another two-page spread from this vacation traveler's notebook that I've uh, been putting off putting together and then I, I did a process video um, I guess a couple weeks ago where I showed you I showed you how I got it started. This was a traveler's notebook from Paper House Productions that I received during a stamp and scrapbook expo class um, I think back in 2019 and I saved it. It came with the pattern papers, it came with stickers um, and some instructions for how to get started and I was like okay um, I'm gonna save this for something and the years have gone by and I finally am like, there was a weekend vacation that my husband and I took um, back in, I guess, at the end of August of last year. So a year ago. And I'm like, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to print these photos out in two by three size on my Canon Ivy mini printer. And um, I'm just going to, I'm going to get this done. So I am slowly moving through. These are still pictures from the first day of our little trip. Um, but I'm going to just kind of tell you how I put these two pages together. Um, if you haven't seen that previous Traveler's Notebook video, I'll try to have it linked below. Um, and if you want to see even more, especially as I continue through this Traveler's Notebook, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, so the pages in this Traveler's Notebook are printed. So there's actually space for you to do journaling on the left-hand side, and then the right-hand side is kind of a grid design, and it does have um, some words on it too. I decided that, number one, I was going to put some white paint over all that just to kind of mute what's going on in the background a little bit since I'm not using the printed stuff. Um, I'm not using the printed stuff at all. Um, and number two... Once again, being inspired by a Chamel layout from the beginning of August where she used two by two inch squares. So I decided I wanted to do two by two inch squares and create some sort of um, create some sort of spread using those squares. You could do this with um, a paper punch if you have one. Um, I am cutting them, you know, with just my paper trimmer in two by two size because my square paper punch is actually smaller than two by two. Obviously, Traveler's Notebook would be a great size to do a smaller, um, a smaller shape because it is a smaller canvas. But I just kept with the two by two for this one. Um, you know, using the smaller square paper punch is something to explore next time around. And then on the first page, I had two um, uh, horizontal photos and two vertical ones. I was having some trouble figuring out the best way to put these all on the page. So the first page is going to have the two. Um, horizontal ones and the squares there's two on the top and two on the bottom on the other side I'm going to do a lineup of the four pattern paper squares and then the vertical photos will go um, kind of on the side um, of that line overlapping and on the side you'll see it in a second once I get them all down I was having some trouble making the squares all fit of course um, I was trying to like leave space between them and it it turns out I cannot do that because then part of the square would be going off the page and I didn't want that so I, I do have to move them around a little bit I will say one thing the paint that I used for the background you could use gesso obviously especially because these pages are super thin um, I used dilution di dilutions white linen paint and then I have a cheapo um, plastic spatula scraper thing that I use to um, to spread it out and then I did uh, use my heat tool to um, dry it a little bit but then I took the um, paper towel roll and rolled that on top and just to kind of pick up some of the excess where it was a little gloppy and, and, and not as spread out not as uh, not as easy to dry um, so yeah but definitely for these thin types of traveler's notebook pages gesso would be great although I've done gesso and traveler's notebook pages before and they have turned out um, still a little wonky so um, I don't know if there's a, a good way to do it a good way to go about doing it or not yeah, I think it's just um, you just have to enjoy the process and enjoy the way the pages look no matter what um, I'm just putting a few of the um, embellishments down most of the embellishments are from the paper house productions collection some of them are travel stuff that I had pulled from previous collections I just threw them all into this kit because I thought they would be a good fit um, just trying to create some little embellishment clusters I'm not doing any journaling on this page because all of the journaling for this day was done on a previous page so I really have nothing else to say about this particular portion of the trip when I flip the page in this traveler's notebook there's going to be um, more journaling about the next the next thing that we did um, on our little trip. So these photos, if you missed the first Traveler's Notebook process video, these are from Newport Beach in Rhode Island. 
and there I'm just kind of flipping through them. Here are the, um, oh, and I'm going to add a little bit of this um, Tim Holtz Distress Oxide Spray. I think that's Fossilized Amber. I wanted something that was like sort of yellowish, sort of orangey, um, and I, I thought that that color would be really, really nice. So I'm just doing a little bit of splatters. I used the... Um, these, the Canon Ivy photo paper is um, self-adhesive, so I just grabbed the paper backings from those and put them on top to protect the photos a little bit while I did these splatters. And that's going to do it for this. So um, obviously you have to wipe off a little bit. I got a little bit on the photo. That's okay. Um, these are the close-ups that give you just a little bit more detail. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or um, comments about what you've seen in this process video. I hope it was helpful for you if you're doing a traveler's notebook. And I hope that you come back again soon to see more scrapbook process videos and scrapbook fun stuff. Bye!